What happened inside this home is really sad. The homeowners are now going to have to spend thousands of dollars to make repairs. They wanted answers from the pest inspector, and so did we. We were looking for a while for our house, and then we finally found this one, and uh, it was on the land that we wanted. Look at him. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm you guys now. <laughs> really excited about it because it was our first home. We got some tomatoes. Look at these ones. Aaron, who is a combat veteran, and his fiance Kirsten applied for a VA loan once they found what they thought was the perfect home in Pinckney. And there were some wood shelves over here. Okay. Um, and Aaron started tearing them out, and then they just started to crumble in his hand. The image is hard to even look at. It looks like a bomb went off. The damage in this home, extensive. What caused most of it? Termites. I started crying. Uh, he started, cr like, almost crying. I mean, I was just, it made me sick to my stomach. But how could that be? They say as a part of the loan process, they had a pest inspection. That was performed by this guy, Jeffrey Wilhite, with Absolute Pest Control in Howell. And when he inspected the property before closing, he said there was no pest issue at all. If them termites have been there, let's say 20 years, mm -hmm. then the homeowner didn't disclose it on their paper. And the, and the inspector. So how not. would they not know it? And, but the other key point to that is that the pest inspector, you, did not find them during the inspection. No, as the report says in any no, no, areas. No, 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 no. If, I did not if find you them. you say that, yes, exactly. Okay. You did not find them. Yes. That's what they want to hear. Months later, a different inspector from Orkin filed this report stating a professional pest control company should not have missed that, adding this level of investigation likely takes three to five years. Clearly something wasn't done properly. No, I'm no, not no, going to no. admit That's that. Not, no, you, you're going to admit it because Orkin says that they went in and any professional, their words, I Orkin, any professional that. should be able to have found the problem, and you didn't. And neither did the home inspector. How come the it's house... It's not the home inspector's job. You were brought in specifically to look for termites. That was your one job. At that moment, in my inspection, and in doing the outside treatment around the house and looking in the structure, I did not find termite activity. We did some digging and learned, according to state records, Will Height's business dissolved in July of 2015. He failed to file the proper documentation. He hasn't been licensed since 2009. He was on probation when he performed the inspection here, the family unaware of his past. They're now considering legal action and hopefully getting help now from the VA. They must also decide whether they will now spend tens of thousands of dollars to repair their home. They wanted to share their story tonight, hoping that others don't ever have to deal with a similar nightmare. It's our first home. It's, I, I don't even have any words. It's heartbreaking. And a story like this one shows you how important it is to pick the right home or pest inspector. We have tips from the experts to help you make that decision. You'll find it all on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Back to you.